Happy New Year! <laughs> Happy New Year, guys, and welcome to your first 2019 Team Perseverance Team Call. It is January 7th. Holy cow, we're here. 2019, 2019 is upon us. Um, and we're really excited because these calls now have officially been running for, let me think now, six years. I think we've been running team calls for six years. So for any new coaches or people the first time on the call, my name is David Atkins, and this is my wife, Kristen Atkins, and we're the founding coaches of Team Perseverance, and this is where we come together um, every other week to go over news, training, announcements, what's going on, the pulse of the team, and really excited when we kick off a new year because it's a time to set goals, it's a time to set New Year's resolutions, and it's a time, as in this tonight's topic, um, to set vision for what you want to achieve in 2019, because I know we have really, really, really big goals. So um, without further ado here, I'm going to share my screen and get right into um, tonight's call and our PowerPoint here, so bear with me. Um, okay, so here we go. Oh, let me just hit play. So first and foremost, um, I'm going to keep bringing this up at the beginning of every call. The Team Perseverance membership site has been up for a, <coughs> excuse me, for about five months now. So make sure you are signed up to be on the website because all of our coach basics training, advanced training, social media training, all of our prior team calls, there's hundreds of them. Literally, our quarterly marketing plan, exactly what's going on every single week for the next couple months is there. So make sure you go to the Team Perseverance, our team page on Facebook, and you can search team website, and you will see multiple times where I put the link up to sign up for the team call. Um, next, this is something newer. We started maybe a month and a half ago. Um, this is to get text messaging. We sent out a reminder about the team call yesterday. Team, right now we have about 50 people signed up. So my guess is that there's people on this call that have not signed up to get the text message reminding, reminders that we're sending. We only sent one in the last month, which was yesterday. So it's not like we're going to get spammed. But if you, um, if you have not signed up, please go to this phone number and text the email address in um, that you use to sign up for the team website. You have to be a member of the team website to do this. So it's two parts. One is you're a member of the team website. Second is then go to this number and in this number, text right now and do it right now. Please text in the email address that you use to sign up for the team website so you can get on our list, okay? Because we can't help remind you and plug you into things um, if you're not signed up. Um, I want to welcome all the new coaches on the call. Remember, first and foremost, make sure that you're in a Beachbody Challenge group. I know many, I saw some new faces on here that are. Sign up for our team website, which is in the welcome email that every new coach gets. Make, use your first 30 days to complete the first 30 email that was sent to you by Team Beachbody. Right? Number four is start practicing the vital behaviors. Um, and just get your first three challenges in our next challenge group, which is one week from today. Um, the vital behaviors of that you learn are inviting, being a product of the product, 10 minutes of personal development and recognition, all the stuff you're going to learn about in Coach Basics. Get on a getting started right call with your coach that signs you up. I know for coaches, for Kristen and I that sign up to us, they have to complete a Google form that we send in a welcome email just so that we know that our coaches are putting some skin in the game to get on a one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one call with us. And then also, last but not least, get into Coach Basics training, which is really the foundation of where you start to learn everything about being a successful coach, and that started today. Um, our calls, meetings, and webinars, every other Monday, um, we have our team call. Today's national wake-up call, which I shared to the team page, um, and the recording is up, was with Carl Deichler, our CEO, about kicking off this year, right? The national wake-up calls, they're once a week, and you should plug into them um, every single week or listen to the recording. Okay, the push goals for this year now, guys. I changed the dates, and I changed some of the qualifications. So to be in the new leader conference and getting to attend that in February 2020, yes, February 2020, you must be a one-star by December 31st, attend that new leader conference. 
But these are the big goals that you on this call, if you are a coach that's just an emerald or just starting out, there's no reason you should not be striving to at least be a premier coach this year. If you are a veteran coach and you're an emerald or higher or you're approaching diamond, you should be looking at, can I make elite coaches here? If you are a diamond right now, you absolutely should be looking at elite coach and the qualification um, is the amount of leadership points you need and what your rank needs. That is for a whole nother call. But all of that training, we did a call on this a couple of weeks back, and we will do another one um, real, real soon, especially with um, some of our leaders on the team. All right, so what's new? What's a couple things that's going on? Number one is Kristen and I recorded a new coach welcome on our team page. So anytime a new coach gets added to our team page, this is going to be at the top as an announcement. So they will always see this. And it kind of just goes over what our team page is about. Make sure they sign up for a team website and make sure that they're in a challenge group. It's very brief, a couple minutes long. Um, but we re-recorded that to set everybody up for success and to help you set your coaches up for success to get them started right away. All right. The next most important announcement is this weekend is Super Saturday. Also, no, also, actually, it's called Super Weekend now. No more Super Saturday. This is Super Weekend. There are events going on in every single state throughout the entire country. There are only three times a year. This is where you go locally to get news, recognition. They do a video of what's going on. A big thing is going to be announced this Super Weekend, which I'll let you guys know. And this is a little clip of one of our Super Weekends that we had. I started Beachbody uh, programs in September. I became a coach last December. I jumped right into being a business builder. I wanted to help as many people as possible. Well, this is our Super Sunday event. We have uh, guest speakers and uh, people sharing their stories of their fitness journey. It's always very inspiring. No matter what program you, you find, you choose, as long as you're consistent, you're going to do well with it. As you progress in Beach Body, you will start looking at this more of a life change than just, oh, I'm just going to work out for a period of time. She's a size format expert, beach body line, master trainer, cast member of size, T25, design, hip hop band, rock and body. So without further ado, Tanya, I want to welcome you. When people come to me and tell me how much I have gained for life, if I've impacted at least one person, and I know that what I'm doing is the right thing and that I'm on the right path. And that just makes me love what I do even more. Everybody's in their own journey. We have coaches that are on all different levels of their fitness journey. But if they're willing to try to take care of themselves and they want to be able to just help somebody else follow along in their journey, maybe where they are in life, then in fact you're coaching them and, and, and motivating them and inspiring them. And therefore, that's how we make a difference each and every day. God makes us on this earth and bless you to live. Remember your purpose in life, and when your purpose is bigger than yourself, and you realize it's not about you, and it's more about maybe your kid, but you want to be healthy and fit. Take care of yourself first, because when you take care of yourself first, then everything else falls into place. At our health, we have nothing to be consistent and to be committed. And to be committed, like I always say, is being committed. Said long after the feeling you had when you were excited. This is the year that you're going to find. You're not going to wish no more. You're not going to lack all attention. Rise to the top no more. You're not going to see other people beyond the stage no more. This is your year. I will. 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 All right, guys. So um, this weekend, January 12th, 13th, or 14th, there is going to be an event near you. Absolutely. Go to your coach online office under events, the event tab, click on super um, weekend, and you can find an event near you. I always say these are non-negotiables. And if you truly want to build your business, it's like being pregnant. You can't be half pregnant. You have to commit to it. We had to find a sitter. We have things going on. Yes. Things are going to come up, but um, get to a super weekend this weekend near you, which goes to the next big thing I want to talk about is Coach Summit. 
This is our biggest event of the year. It's once a year. This is where 20,000 coaches come into one area. It's in Indianapolis again. Um, this is where when I, I couldn't figure out a way financially to say I can get to Coach Summit, but it was eye-opening, and I charged on a credit card, and I want to just show you a quick clip of this as we're heading into the new year. gives me chills every yeah. time they just put this video i didn't notice this video was here i just found it and i didn't realize i was clipped in there either from when i spoke so <laughs> i'm like oh come in this video but guys the reason i put this here is because they have a summit ticket promo price going on um, this month to the end of the month, you'll save $140. It's $155. Guys, this is the thing. You may say, I don't even know how I'm going to make it work. But I can tell you that if you dabble and you think that way, then you're not going to be there. Because once it's amazing when you commit to something, when you find, when you find your why, you find your way. And if your why is I'm committed this year to making this business once and for all, get me to where I want to be and to stop waiting for things to happen because it's not going to happen when you wait and you just commit and you buy your ticket, then everything's going to change for you because your mindset has been flipped. So also, if you refer a coach that gets a ticket this month, you will get an opportunity to sample out Beachbody's program that they're announcing this weekend, the new fitness program that's coming out which you'll hear about when you go to Super Weekend this weekend, um, you'll get an exclusive workout at Summit to try that out with that trainer, okay? Coach Basics just started um, today. So if you have not a new coach and you haven't been in Coach Basics, it started, it's not too late. Or maybe you're a coach that's kind of been gone for a while and you want to do it again, sure, do it again. But also we do have Coach Refresh Training. What is, what is this? Every now and then, not frequently, um, on the team page, we're going to do like a refresh for those pe those coaches. Maybe some of you are watching that have some cobwebs on your 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 your, your desk and your business and your brain. Um, this is kind of just to refresh and go over some things. This is not Coach Basics um, where you're going to go over everything. This is just a quick refresh to bring you back up to speed. It's going to be on our team page. Um, with some videos, live videos, that will be tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. And those are going to be three videos per day for the next three days. And it's going to be myself and a few of the other leaders going live in the team page um, morning, afternoon, and evening. So if you want to tune into that, whenever you're available, just make sure each day you are checking in and watching those videos. We're trying to keep them to about 10 minutes each. So um, put aside about 30 minutes per day. Um, so you can go back and rewatch them if you can't catch them live, which you probably won't, but that's okay. Guys, I just have to say, like, quick story. It makes me think of us doing this. Many of you know my story. Many of you maybe don't, that, that my coach quit. Like, I had zero. This just makes me what Kristen's saying. I had zero help. I had no team calls. I did a team call and spoke to nobody and recorded myself. You guys know that story. I had no training. I had none of this. And we still built the business 
to a six-figure income working part-time because my why was strong. And I said, I'm just going to figure it out. I'm going to Google everything. I'm going to go to YouTube. Like, do you realize if you just say, that's it, I'm committed, I'm going to do this refresh training, we're giving you all the assets, the websites there, the coach refresh training, the coach basics. Like, there's so much here. Like, at the end of the day, it's on you. If you aren't want this bad enough and you want the success, it's there for you. The, the tools are there. You have to build your house. That's all I have to say because I just wish I had this on the other end, but we're not here. We want you guys to achieve what we achieve and beyond a lot quicker, and it's there for you. Um, some recognition, top coaches for December, Melanie Yoakum for, with 14 points uh, in Success Club, and this girl right here sponsoring four new coaches in the month of December. Um, our Team Perseverance December Success Club earners, Melanie, myself, Joan, and Kristen in the Success Club 10 category, in the Success Club 5. We had Gina, Shannon, Candice, Michelle, Joanna, Michelle, and Liz. And we had honorable mention, everybody that had at least um, two Success Club points or one in the month of December. So great job to everybody who's on the leaderboard um, there. Great job. Also, our Team Perseverance personal volume leaders, those in, that you see here that had 500 PV or personal volume points in a month, which means they're well on their way to building a solid business. And then also recognizing those coaches on our team that doubled that and had at least a thousand or more volume points. And we have some people really um, well into the 1000s, 2000s, which is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Good job, everybody. Um, now we're getting into the last announcement before we kick Yay. into the call. Transform 20 is officially being released one week from today. The coaches only group is up. So we formed a Team Perseverance Transformers, I think it's called, group where every day I'm going to have a new post being put up about Transform 20. This is prep week. This is really, guys, this group is for the coaches that maybe don't have any challengers or just want a place to get started. If you are a coach that has multiple challengers, I recommend that either you plug in with your upline diamond coach or you plug in with your sponsoring coach because like Kristen and I are running another group that's for our new people, like our new customers. This group here is for the coaches of our team. So any of the 15, 1,600 coaches, whatever we're at right now for Team Perseverance are more than welcome to go in this group, plug in, have a place to do Transform 20 together. Anything to add to that? No? No, I mean, who's excited? I'm so excited for this program. My Carolina is clapping. I can't see everybody, but yeah. yeah, I'm really, really excited. Guys, I want you to treat this. I, I think most of you are probably in the test group with Sean T as well, um, but treat this like a test group, like our real legit test group. Your job as a coach is to show that these programs work. Right? So you're going to take your before pictures. You're going to take your starting measurements. You're going to share your journey on social media. Be accountable to your social media followers, right? Share the journey. Use stories, Instagram stories, Facebook stories to share your transformation. Share the good days, the bad days, and everything in between, right? You want to have a really great before and after picture, but a lot of this is even beyond the physical. A lot of this program, from everything I've heard from people, is there is a big mental transformation. And a lot of you guys, when you did 80 day obsession, you cried at the end because you worked so hard to get there. This is one of those programs that's really going to challenge your mind. So get ready for a transformation physically and emotionally. I'm really, really excited to see how you guys do and how we do. Everybody should be leveraging this. And listen, this is the last point I want to say with that. Maybe you're doing a different program but you, as a coach, Beachbody is spending millions of dollars through social media marketing. This is all called Dykler Speaking Route, our CEO. It's everywhere. So you always need to be thinking to align yourself with what's going on. Like, for example, when Size came out, the dance program, I had no desire to do it, but I did it because that's what the hot button was, the hot topic. I'm doing Transform 20. I actually am very excited about this. But make sure that you're, if you're not doing the program, that you're well aware of it, you're trying out the workouts because your prospects may not be like you. And your prospects may be coming across all the money that Beachbody's spending to, to publicly get this program out there. And you should have an idea of what it's about and what it's like. 
So you always want to try to align yourself with what's going on, like with events, super weekends, coach summit. That's how you keep your finger on the pulse and that's how you keep your business moving forward, staying plugged in. Okay, without, what? I want to see everybody real quick. Oh, okay. Um, hold on. Kristen wants to see everybody. Okay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So real quick, before we move on to um, our vision board topic, and I can't see everybody on one screen. Raise your hand if you were at Summit this past summer. Okay. Let me see. Can you see me? Show me the other. What? Oh, yeah. Okay. Who remembers these? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm holding? <laughs> You guys see what I'm holding, right? Yeah, Shannon sees it. Lindsay, you see it, okay. So last summit, we asked everybody, this was actually a really emotional, if you guys remember, this was a really emotional time at summit for all of us. We asked everybody to write to your future self for next summit, okay? and. I have them saved and I asked everybody to take a snapshot of theirs. So I'm going to ask all of you that were at Summit last year to go look at your snapshot, snapshot after the call. If you can't find it, message me. I'll find it and I'll send this to you. But I want you to go back and see what you wrote to yourself because we're what, six months out from yeah. that last Summit? I want you to see if you are on track to what you said you were going to do. Okay? Because we wrote to our future selves as if we were reading this next summit, all right? Because I want you to stay true to what you said you were going to do when you were all motivated and excited, right? And, and that's kind of like how I want us to think about going into our vision boards for this year. It's very exciting in the beginning of a new year. And, I, you know, I'm guilty of it too, you know, being like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, but, 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 but I'm so excited, I'm so pumped. But what happens when life starts to like get in the way, right? And all of that excitement kind of fades away, then what, right? Like, are we really going to stay true to, don't read that. Are we really going to stay true to what we said we were going to do? It's really, really important, guys. And, and the way that um, this vision board training is through Lindsay Matway. This is not from me. I got this from her, a vision board training that she did. She's actually a high performance coach with Brendan Bouchard, which is funny because when we went to see Brendan Bouchard, Lindsay Matway was there. So that was her first experience with him. So she must have gotten certified since. Um, so a lot of this talk is very Brendan Bouchardy, this coming out of her mouth. Um, but it's a very different way of looking at um, your life. So I think it has much more impact than maybe a vision board that you've done in the past or setting goals like you did in the past. So it's re I really want you to connect with your vision boards and I want you to spend time really truly diving into, you know, who you really want to become. Because this, the idea of this is to think about the person you want to be and talk to yourself like you've already achieved it, not the person you are right now. Because if you talk to yourself as the person you are right now, you're gonna be stuck there, right? And we all have goals, we all wanna get to another level, whatever that may look like for you. So you have to become in your head the person that you envision yourself to be. And I think that's what was this, this, this uh, activity that we did at Summit was very similar to that. But I want you guys to go back and look at what you wrote. And I went back and looked at what I wrote, and I was a little disappointed. I had these big high hopes and I was disappointed with what I wrote and how, you know, there's still time, of course. We didn't get to summit yet. But I was like, crap, Kristen, you let some things go that you were really excited about at that time. So it's really, really important that we keep this stuff in the forefront of our minds. Okay? Okay. So now we can go to the... I was going to read some of yours just to... The Kristen said no. No, I don't want you to read theirs. I want that's They're private. very that's sentimental. Private. They're good that's stuff. Private. No, that's private. <laughs> Overruled. <laughs> All right, can you um let me share my screen? Okay. Where is it, babe? Oh, okay. That's what she said. Stop it. Okay. Can you guys see the screen? Dana, can you see it? Okay. All right, so for the beginning, 
Um, you guys filled out the courage and the clarity worksheets. If you did not get to print them out, um, if you were having trouble printing them, just message me and I can send you the, or I put the snapshot in. You should be able to just print it out. But that was a little activity for you to get very clear on what's important to you. So the clarity worksheet um, was asking you about what you value most in your life right now um, and listing your top three priorities. I think that that's something that you need to sit down and really spend some time thinking about. That's why I wanted you to do it before the call. Um, and then the questions, if time and resources were no longer scarce supply, how would you spend your time? So what dreams would you go after? Who would you spend your time with and why? And what would you be doing together? Um, would you travel? If so, where and why? Have you considered creating a bucket list, which we do not have? We need to have a bucket list. Um, how would you live your day-to-day -day life differently? Like, What does your lifestyle look like if, if, if there was no restrictions? And how would your most courageous self show up to life differently? I think that's a pretty deep question to think about. Um, so hopefully you got to do that. Sorry, I'm getting messages over here. And then the courage worksheet was, um, let me see if I can pull that one up. Okay. Hold on. The courage worksheet was used to help you think about your fears. I think it's really important. We understand what holds us back because if we, if we are held back by, um, assumptions that we're making or the fear of, you know, being rejected or the fear of putting ourselves out there, which most of us do, right? Then we're not going to, we're not going to achieve our goals. We're not going to get to that next level. It's really important to be very real. And, and the courage worksheet, when I read through all this, I was like, dang, like this is really hard and it should be hard. And if it's not hard, then you're not, you know, you don't have big enough goals. So I wanted you guys to do that ahead of time. If you didn't do it, um, make sure you do that before you do the next part with us because that's really, really important. So the first thing I want you to think about, can you close this? And this is kind of, um, you know, it's not meant to be morbid, but it's meant to take a zoom out look of your life and to look at it not from, you know, setting goals just for the year 2019, but to think about the person you want to be, the life you want to live. And the question that Lindsay asked is, begin with the end in mind. And it's at the end of my life, how do I want to be remembered? Right? So she's saying at your funeral, when people, the people that are closest to you, that really knew you, if they're walking up to your, your, um, your coffin, what are they thanking you for? And I, I want you guys to take two minutes to just jot this down and think, really think through this. At the end of your life, what do you want people to remember you for? And this is really, really important so you can pinpoint what kind of life you want. So take a couple minutes to work on that.
Everybody good? Okay. All right, so these are things that you need to think about um, where you are right now. Um, a lot of times people know what they don't want their life to look like, right? Like, I don't want the debt, or I don't want um, to struggle anymore. I don't want to feel unhealthy. But it's very hard to be very specific with what you do want sometimes. So it's very important that at this point, when we're setting goals in all areas of your life, that they are super, super specific, okay? And we're going to go through the goal checklist, which is going to help you actually um, take a more generic goal and make it very specific. So that way it's, it's measurable because if it's not measurable in any way, like, like saying like, I want to be independent, uh, financially independent, you know, or what is it financially free or whatever, mm -hmm. like, you know, not have any more debt. Like, what does that look like? What does that mean? Like, what are the numbers? Put a time on it. So it's really, really important to be, to ask yourself, you know, how every time you say you have a goal, but how do I get there? What, do, what does that mean? They have to be very specific. All right. And then this was a great example that she used, gratitude. Now, she said a lot of times, um, and she used her kids as an example, right? And, and most of us are parents, right? So we know if your child's asking for something, right? Like for Christmas, for example, they're asking for all these big things like, <laughs> like our kids were. Um, and they get it, right? And then they like throw it to the side or they lose it or whatever. And then they're like, yeah, I want another toy. And they, if they don't have any gratitude for what they already have and they're looking for the next thing, are we going to be eager to just give them what they want? Probably not, right? So it's the same thing with like asking the universe or asking God or whatever you believe for what you want in your life, right? Unless you are like happy with where you are now, with what you have now, instead of saying, like I said in the, in the thing, instead of saying, I'll be happy when I have more money. I'll be happy when I get that job. I'll be happy when I can do this. Like you're not happy right then and there. So it's going to be very hard to get what you want or be rewarded if you're not grateful for what you have at that, at this time. So it's really important to practice gratitude so that way you can be rewarded come when the bigger things come. Um, confidence is the key to pursuing your dreams. Is your word good? Will you keep your promises to yourself? So this is, when you set these vision boards down, these are the promises that you're keeping to yourself. And only you have the control to do this and to, and to, to give yourself the word that you're gonna follow through to make this happen. You know, I, I think I've set so many goals in my life that I've just let go because, you know, because of life, right? So. I'm looking at this and being very conscious of it, thinking, okay, I'm promising this to myself. Like, I want to make this happen because I'm envisioning myself the person as I want to be, right? So really, really important. All right, so we're going to set goals in all areas of your life, not just here as a coach with your business, because the goal is to have a balanced life, right? And, and although we it's hard to have balance in every single area of your life. It's really important not to only focus on one major area because then other areas will suffer. So it's really important that we go through all these areas. All right, so these are the different areas that we're gonna talk about. You guys have a pen and paper. We're gonna actually work on this together. We're not gonna actually create the board tonight, but we're gonna get all of this out of the way so that you can start creating your boards this week. So these are the main focuses, um, your spiritual, health, financial, career, family, romance, personal growth, and experience joy and happiness in your life, okay? Um, you're going to choose a goal, one to two goals, no more than that, in each area, okay? It needs to be very specific, like I said. And I'm going to show you the goal checklist. I actually posted it in, did I post it in the files? I think I did. Did I post it in the files of the team page if you guys can see it? Um, you can pull it up or I can, I'm going to go to the next page. Um, hold on. Files. Goal checklist is in the files of the team page, guys, if you want to pull it up. And it's really, as you set each goal for each area, you're going to ask yourself these questions and it's going to help you make it very, very specific. So do me a favor, guys, write out this list, spiritual health, financial career, family, romance, personal growth, joy, happiness, 
write that out because I'm going to go to my next slide so you can look at the goal checklist. I'll give you a minute. How is it? And then what you're going to do is you're going to start literally writing down what your focus will be in each area for the coming year. And it's okay if, if some of these goals are not something that you can achieve within a year, if it's something that might take longer than a year, that's okay. That would be like a big push goal for you. But one to two per area, no more than that, because you really want to be able to focus on it. Does anyone need more time copying these down? No? Okay, I'm going to the next slide, which is the goal checklist. All right, so what you're going to do now is you're going to start thinking about these areas. So I'm going to give you an example. So let's say in um, financial, right? In financial, you say, um, I want to save money for a family vacation. Okay, so now you're going to go to your goal checklist. Your goal is specific. So what is the family vacation? So I want to save money for a trip to Disney with my family. Okay, so you'll check that off. Your goal is specific. Is it measurable? You can clearly measure if you have attained your goal. So that'll be like a yes or no, right? Like the, one of the best things about checklists is, is crossing them off as you achieve them. So you want to make sure it's something you can cross off. Is your goal attainable? Is it within your control influence to reach that goal? Sure, you're going to focus on saving your money. You have to know how much the trip costs in advance, right? Where you want to stay um, for how long. So you can do all that research and have that written out. Is your goal time bound? Guys, it's really important to set a time on when you want to achieve your goal. And, and it's okay if it doesn't happen within that time frame. You want to be realistic with your time frame. So if you want to save for a Disney trip, you're not going to say, eight years from now, I'm going to go to Disney, right? Like you want it to be probably within a year, a year and a half, right? So um, make it time bound. I will save the $6,000 that I need for my Disney trip in May of 2020 or whatever. Um, so you'll have that time frame. Is it time bound? Yes. Do my goals align with my top priorities? So your top priorities, maybe in your family might be taking more vacations, spending more time with the people you love most. So make sure these goals all kind of relate to each other to, to line up. Your goal is written in the present tense. So not, I will go to Disney with my family. It's going to be I had an amazing, I, I am on an amazing family trip to Disney World that we worked so hard to achieve, okay? And my goal inspires and excites me. Like, so then maybe you would print out pictures of Disney or like show videos to the kids like we were doing with the cruise the other day. Um, it should be something to work towards that does excite you, right? And so Lindsay Matley was sharing how she did this with her kids for, she used to do like little staycations and she would say, okay, we need to save $3,000 to go to X, Y, and Z. And they would put it on the refrigerator. And her kids every week would say, mom, are you closer to your goal? You know, and they would cheer her on as she would work to save her money from Beachbody to, to go on that trip. So um, it should be something that maybe you can include the people closest to you on. All right, so you guys see how that works? Very specific. Go through the goal checklist. And make sure you are able to check all these boxes for that specific goal so you know it's, it's a good goal, like you can measure it. And I'm just going to give you guys, what, like 15 minutes to work on this? Good? Yes? What? 15, 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes? 10. Okay, 10 minutes. Dave said 10. <laughs>
Okay, guys, you guys can continue working on this. Obviously, you might not get it all done right tonight, but I am going to share with you some different um, some different ways that you can actually create your vision board. Now, you can go old school and do it on a big board, um, whatever way you feel comfortable doing it and whatever way you see it is go for it. Um, but you can use pickmonkey.com or canva. It is .com, right? Canva.com um, to create one that you can print out. But these are also some really cool apps that um, I, I found. And let me tell you that first one, subliminal vision boards is awesome because you can put affirmations on there. You can record your own voice on it. And you can make multiple vision boards. So my thought process was it was to do a vision board for each of these topic areas, right? To kind of separate it. So because they're on my phone, so it would be safe. So it'd be smaller. Um, but to do a, a health vision board, to do a career vision board, a family vision board, and just break it up by area. So it's much clearer. Um, I did not get to look at all of these, but um, take a snapshot. I can write it in the team page if you want. Um, if you want to look at some and pick an app, but whatever way you want to do it, if you really legit want to do a poster board, um, go for it. And you know, those of you that are creative, that might be fun. Um, or you could do it on PicMonkey or Canva. So this week, um, what you guys should be doing is taking this information and starting to create these these vision boards and. I would say by next week, it should be done. So try to get it done within this week. I would love for you guys to um, post them in the team page as you finish them to kind of just blast and put it out there, like being accountable to the fact that like, these are my goals. This is what I want to happen in this year. And, you know, I'm telling everybody that it's going to happen. So you need to stay committed to it once you put it out there. And I am going to share something that we are committing to this year, which is scary. What's that? You don't know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, hold on. I'm going to stop the share one second. Oh. Good night, honey. Um, so we are going to be hosting our very first team retreat, team perseverance retreat this year, team-wide. We do not have all the details, but we're putting it out to you. We're being held accountable by telling you that this is something that I've wanted to do personally for the last two years, and we have not done it. So this year we are doing it. We will let you know once we get all the details and how it's all going to work, but really, really excited to, um, to be able to do that this year, probably coming in August because I have to look at my goal checklist. Is it attainable? Is it measurable? Is it time bound? Yes. All right, guys. Um, so you're going to work on that this week. Please share these in the team page as you complete them, a snapshot, whatever you want. Um, and I think those were the main things I wanted to share. Does anybody have any questions? No? You hit the last slide. I think it said questions. Oh, okay. It just said get to work. Come to Canada in January. It's really warm and beautiful. Yeah, okay. Come to the United States. It's you, even more warm and beautiful. You come here, Mr. Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to Canada. Negative 28. Oh, yeah. my God. Kill me. Oh my God. Kill me now. Oh, my God. Um, any general overall questions from anybody? Dianette, you're a silhouette. Guys, uh -huh. was this helpful? Yes, no, maybe so. Are you excited to do your vision boards? Yeah. I'm excited to do them in each area because I think that's it'll give you a really clear, it'll create some balance in your life for sure. All right, so check in this week. One thing that was not on the slides, which I apologize for, we meant to put it on, we forgot. Team Cup is coming in February. And I believe that the registration date is January 12th um, or the 14th. But um, either way, Team Cup is a really fun month. It will be all of February where you team up with four coaches, so five of you per team, and you strive to help as many people as possible. They do go by success club points, so combined points um, is how your team is ranked. So you'll come, you'll have a captain, you guys will come up with a team name, you have to register your team um, through the Team Beachbody um, Coach Online office. There'll be a, a link for you to register your team, and it's just really fun way to push each other and encourage each other and, and kind of like push your business to the next level. So start to think about 
who you'd want to be on a team with. I believe they changed the rules and you can have two diamonds, star diamonds now? No, 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 diamonds. Two diamonds, okay. Um, so we will give you more information um, during the week on that, but I apologize that was not in the slides. But it is coming, so get it in your brain. And uh, I think that's it. Anything you want to add? No, we're uh, we are going on a cruise in March. Who's coming with us? Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so excited, so so excited, and that's another reason why we strive to hit Success Club to get these trips. Yeah. Right? These yeah. trips are like no other. They really, really are amazing. Um, okay, wanting to do this select thing. teams. Yes, you um, form your teams together. So normally um, you do it with some of your coaches or you can post on the team page and we try to form the teams. Um, it's groups of five. Yep. yep. All, right. all right, guys. I know we went about an hour tonight, but we want to get all this information out to you. I'm looking forward to hearing everybody's feedback from Super Weekend this weekend. Get your ticket to Summit. The cruise is coming up. Vision boards, big goals, big year. So guys, have a great night and we will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Good night, guys.